it's morning and we got about 12 miles into Tahoe and I'm really excited because I love Tahoe I haven't been there in a few years but I used to not live far from it and I thought I was recording earlier but I wasn't when we went through a big patch of flowers with irises and all kinds of stuff I don't even know those grew wild out here <laughs> pretty neat probably see some more Ooh, look, there's Tahoe. Oh, I'm so excited. It's such a cool place. Gonna be a great zero. Maybe double zero. My uh, Achilles is not improved. Look at all these flowers. See, this is what I was talking about this morning that I thought I was filming and I wasn't. <laughs> look how beautiful these are. So gorgeous. So that gentleman that's going through the woods there, day hiker, horse and I are standing over here trying to get a hitch and he gets our attention by yelling, hey hiker trash, there's a list of trail angels over here. <laughs> And we, without blinking an eye at being called hiker trash, are like, oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and race right over. Found. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a phone call and I was listening to music and I didn't hear her call my name when I went right past him. Yeah. <laughs> she came running down the road. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is going to be fun. We're going to Tahoe. So this is my hitch into Tahoe, and she happened to publish a book, her name is Debbie, about 50-something, seven? 57. 57 dog-friendly trails in the Sierra. So check that book out. I'll get some information and post it on here so you guys can find it. But that's awesome because <laughs> a lot of the trails are not dog-friendly. <laughs> so to know where you can take them is a big deal because I have two dogs myself. The post office at Lake Tahoe is covered in hiker trash. <laughs> and <Yeah>. it's epic. <laughs> bags and hikers everywhere getting our boxes <laughs> ran into sirloin again grumpy bear snack packs over there pretty awesome